What's up, Buttercup? So we guys having an amazingly golden day with cherries on top. So uh, everybody, just say this after me. I need help. Hey, you said it. Okay, I need help. <laughs> Not you guys, just me. <laughs> oh my gosh, what have I done? I literally fabricated. Took me so many hours to fabricate uh, the front splitter slash the whole bumper of the car, and in less than an hour of making it, I destroyed it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to spoil it for you guys now. I'll just play the clip of of the whole of the whole thing leading up to it because there's some some fabrication things. In case you guys are also learning from me, like I am, because I literally don't know what I'm doing. I'm just learning fabrication, and so in case you guys want to see what I did, I'll play the whole clip of like how I got to where I got to and how I made the front splitter, and then I'll show you guys exactly what happened. Well, I need help. <laughs> okay, roll the clip. So, it's been a few days. Oh my gosh, my hair is literally getting in my face. It's a disaster. I need to get this cut. But anyway, it's been a few days since I did the front bumper and the that dude over there. And so now, um, I'm doing the bottom side, which is like the, the yeah, the bottom side of the bumper. Uh, I was gonna do a splitter. It might be a splitter, I'm not 100% sure. But uh, yeah, I, I literally don't know why I said that. Let's get started. Uh, I had to go buy like thick, thinner steel so I could use that and like weld it onto this guy. So this is, oh, my neck, literally. This house is trying to kill me. There's like a massive branch there. But um, this is a uh, 26 gauge steel and that's 16 gauge steel. So it's pretty much like double, if not more thickness. Um, yeah, so. I'm gonna drill into it and then I got these thick ass. Oh, oh mm -mm. I got these thick boys called uh, bolts that I'm gonna put in there. But for now, let's start drilling. Oh, my arm. Oh, that hurts. Dang it, metal in my hand all the freaking time. Okay, so now I'm making my front splitter. I, oh my gosh, it's been just insanely difficult because I've had to drill, I've had, this has just been a lot. I've had to cut, um, but for now, it was a huge piece and so I've just literally just marked, done a bunch of markings and I've chopped and chopped and chopped. So it's not perfect, but I'm gonna smooth it out later on. For now though, I'm gonna go ahead, finish chopping and we should be good. And we're back again a few days later. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm not filming as much as I should, but oh my gosh. Oof, let me show you guys the progress that I've made. So, ta-da. So if you guys can't see what I've done, after I did this, I made the front splitter, cut it out, bolted it. So now, what I did was, I got the old bumper. This is the old rear bumper, not even the front, because you guys will notice it's the headlights aren't here. Um, but I got the rear bumper. It still fit onto the front, so that's awesome. And so I now got these rods. They're like I think they're three eighths rods, and I put uh, I cut up a bunch of them, and I put them through the splitter, so they could hold it in place. Um, they're not bolted on strong right now because I still have to do some adjustments. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And then on the sides, I got these brackets. So if you look inside there, they are. I'm gonna zoom in. So those are the brackets and they kind of like, yeah, they're like angle brackets and so they're kind of holding the splitter and gumming it to the bumper. Wow. Wow. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. I had one job. <laughs> I literally had one job. And uh, I messed it up, guys. This is just terrible. After all the hours that I poured into cutting that front splitter perfectly, not really perfectly, but to an extent of perfection, nice and golden. And I bent it immediately, like literally, it wasn't even 15 minutes after I completed it that I destroyed it. Well, <laughs> so goes the, the adventure of fabricating my own parts for the, that, for the Datsun. Um, I don't even know what words, man. I, I honestly don't know. <sighs> yeah, I'm just so mad at myself. But, um, that also that experience also taught me some things too uh, which is pretty which I, which I think is pretty cool as annoying as it is it still taught me some things because initially i tried to bend the the, the bumper back um and it was just wrinkly so it taught me some things one is that i need to use a thicker material um because i mean for the most i'm just gonna leave it like that for now <laughs> but for the most part i need to use a thicker material because i use 26 gauge steel and that is Initially in my brain it was fine, but seeing just how that thing bent like that, that is too thin. That is there's an extent of thinness. And I don't know what was going on in my head. But so I'm gonna have to use maybe 16 gauge steel or even thicker or 20 gauge. I don't know. But uh for the most part now, the front bumper is mostly done. I still have to do uh like uh canards for the front that are gonna look so sick in my head. They look good. Uh, but yeah, the front is done. That's pretty much it guys. I'm so oh, I hope you guys enjoy <laughs> seeing me fail uh, But yeah, so in uh, Just whenever you're fabricating don't don't be like me and bump into the front I I think the problem was that I had not gotten used to the length of the car because Everything I've done is extended the length of the car by like what two feet or something So I wasn't used to that so that's what but it's fine. You live and you learn it'll be golden in the next video, I don't know what we're going to be doing. What are we going to be doing? We're either going to be doing the side skirts, side splitter boys. Um, yeah, that's probably what we're going to be doing. So thank you guys so much for watching this golden video. I'm so excited. This has taught me so much about fabrication. This whole adventure has just been so much fun. It's been a lot of work, but it's been a lot of fun. So I'm excited to continue on this journey. And if you're liking this video, please give it a thumbs up and Hope you guys have a golden night. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.